Topping our news at 6, tonight domestic violence survivors and advocates will be honored for a Flowers on the River ceremony. KSAN's Maya Skinner joins us live with the preview. Yes, Haley, we're here at the River Banks across from Kids Kingdom. Family Shelter says tonight's goal is about recovery and hope. Tonight, we walk down to the river to symbolize the journey a victim takes to break free from violence. Family Shelter says the goal for the flowers on the river ceremony is to recognize survivors and advocates. For today's event, we're celebrating the survivors of domestic violence. And so their journey through their healing process um, and the restoration of hope in their lives. Rebecca Alexander says domestic violence is extensive in the Concho Valley. She says it impacts various groups of people and so far this year, one life has been lost. So we have victims, we have child victims, we have women victims, we have male victims, um, teens, grade school, um, and so it's really important that we're offering services to these victims, whether they're ready to leave or they're not ready to leave, whether they're living at home or they're still in the, in the home. Thursday is also National Wear Purple Day to bring awareness to domestic violence. Alexander says education and using local resources is helpful for those who want to support. It's bringing about awareness. Um, I think it's two part. It's not about just wearing a, a shirt. Um, it, it's about educating. And so at the at the family shelter, we actually offer classes. Um, you can meet with a case manager one on one, and they can help you rec learn to recognize the signs. Alexander says family shelter services are free and confidential. Floating above all the unhappiness. The flowers represent hope and peace, hope for change, and most of all, peace in the home. And the ceremony starts at 6.30, so there is still time to come out. And if you can't make it tonight, there will be a candlelight vigil at Family Shelter that will be on the 26th at 6.30. Maya Skinner, KSAN News.